Hi, Ever After High fans. I decided to remake Duchess Swan's bed, and this is what I came up with. And I'm gonna show you how I did it and also ask for your opinion on it. But first, let me show you the old bed. So Duchess's bed was the second bed I ever made after Lizzie's. And um, you can see that it's a little bit sloppy. I just basically hot glued some feathers onto the footboard. And my swan looks like a goose um, because I chose to line it with black pipe cleaner. So it looks a little bit, I don't know, not very elegant. And I slapped some feathers on the swan too. The pillow and the uh, blanket don't look that finished, but they do match her um, skirt very well, at least in my opinion. And then when I even look at how un, um, unattractive this tool looks, and then look how it's all uneven when I basically hot glued this piece of felt down onto the bed. One thing I do really like is this pattern in the pillow, so. I will see if I can preserve it. So as usual, I started with a smooth foam block from Michaels and I found a similar piece of black felt with a raised pattern and texture and I hot glued that on. And then this is the swan from Duchess's box and I used it to sketch another swan headboard, one that I think is a little bit more elegant and actually looks like a swan and not a goose. Here's my bed with the felt glued on. Here's my painted swan headboard. I'm going to just hot glue the swan headboard onto the bed. And the blanket I chose is this gorgeous piece of fabric from Joann's. I just think it's gossamer and reminds me of the Swan Queen. And I really like this black feathery ribbon that I also found at Joann. This reminds me of Duchess. And Duchess also has some lavender detail in her, light pink slash lavender. And I had this ribbon from Kitty Cheshire's bed, so I'm gonna reuse that. What I did was I ended up hot gluing the lengths of the ribbon um, across the entire piece of fabric. And then I'm going to turn the fabric, I'm basically gonna fold it in half and hot glue the fabric. For her pillow, um, I chose that same square of felt and I'm just gonna line each of the four sides with the same Kitty Cheshire ribbon. It's really like a lavender snowflake ribbon, I shouldn't call it Kitty Cheshire. And then I'm going to hot glue three edges of this on and stuff it in the middle. This is not a good representation. Okay, this is what I ended up with. I ended up using the black feathery ribbon as well on one side one because I didn't have any more but two because I think it gives the pillow kind of an interesting feathery crown feeling and so I've hot glued three sides and I got to stuff scraps down the middle so let's finish the bed the swan headboard has been hot glued on here's the pillow with the scraps in the middle and the fourth side hot glued and now let's go ahead and put on the comforter There, you guys can take a look at it. Oh, sorry, messy house. You can see the back. And this is um, what the bed looks like finished. Ta-da. What do you guys think? Do you think Duchess will like it? It just reminds me of such a swan princess bed, and that's what she is. The reason I chose to also use the black feathery ribbons is that I think Duchess is trying to decide if she wants to be the white swan or the black swan and it sort of captures her confusion. Well, Duchess is yawning and going to bed so let me ask you guys if you like this bed better, better than the original. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much.